Michael Shannon made it with Runaway, his super hit in 1961. Then he found it much tougher on the way down. The ups and downs of stardom are inside story for today. He had his biggest hit in 1961, but for almost 30 years after he went to the top with Runaway, Del Shannon continued to write and perform, to record and to produce. Our cameras caught up with Shannon two years ago, out on the road performing. Then his words about his early big hit would prove ironically prophetic. I think I always wanted to run away. I still am. Sometimes I'm in A and I want to be in B. I get to B, I want to go back to A. Maybe, I, probably that's one reason it's, it's uh, it was a popular song, it is still today, is because people just always want to run away. Ultimately, Del Shannon was to run away. He was found earlier this month, dead at age 55, of what police termed a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the right temple. It came as a complete shock to his new wife of two years. No, there is no indication. This is a man that uh, asked for things from the market, that was making plans for the next day, that had appointments uh, to speak, um, making gigs. Shannon had an album in the works at the time of his death. Among his new tunes was this one, Walk Away, which he performed for Australian TV. His real name was Charles Westover, and according to his first wife, he was never comfortable with stardom and struggled to maintain his identity as a private person, as a husband, and as a father of three. I think that the Del Shannon personality was taking over, and Charles was smothered. He, you know, he wasn't able to give and to do and to be a part of his family. And I think that ultimately, Charles had to destroy Dell. Another who knew both the public and private man was his manager and longtime friend, Dan Burgoyes. I think he just lost track of himself, just lost track of uh, who he was. Maybe he didn't want to go and, and hide behind Del Shannon again. Maybe he wanted to reconcile this time, and maybe this was the only way he knew of how to reconcile it. Shannon's legacy to the music world is considerable. Tom Petty, who helped produce Shannon's critically acclaimed album, Drop Down and Get Me, was influenced himself by Shannon's talent. I'm just sorry, I'm just sorry that I can't see him, you know, that I can't uh, talk to him. I wish that he would have told me something was wrong. Recent Grammy winner Bonnie Raitt also recorded Runaway and admired Shannon's music. Del was a great guy. I really loved doing his song. I was honored that he liked my version of it. And I, I just think it's so sad that, uh, that it had to end that way. And uh, it's a great loss. Shannon's gift to those who loved him is greater than simply his music. <laughs> his face, his hands coming in, screaming for me, la, and then having flowers. And let's go on the motorcycle, or let's go to the show tonight, or just going to the market. You know, I mean, there was such companionship. That is a gift that a person gets, maybe, once in their life, to have that type of companionship and relationship with someone. Um, I miss it. Besides the album Del Shannon was working on at the time of his death, he was among the contenders to replace the late Roy Orbison in the Grammy-winning Traveling Wilburys All-Star Rock Quintet. On our